So basically, John Wick Chapter 4 picks up right after the events of Chapter 3, where Winston was supposed to kill John, but we all know that that was fake. He intentionally didn't kill him, but somehow he knew that he was going to survive falling off the building, but whatever. But anyway, the adjudicator went to check to see if John was still there, and of course, John was gone. You know, he was delivered to Bowery King, which is Lawrence Fishburne's character, and now the high table is still after him, and they have a bounty on his head in Chapter 4. So yeah, John is still on a quest to become a free man, which means he has to take out whoever is in charge at the high table to basically get his freedom. But how is that going to happen? And that's basically what we find out here with chapter four. All right, so basically I'm just gonna hip fire a bunch of pros that I feel about the movie. I, I really don't have any cons, honestly, guys, but I'm just gonna hip fire a bunch of pros and just things that I enjoyed about the movie. So first off, uh, Bill Skarsgård's character, um, him being the main antagonist, I think he's established very well. I think we really feel the extent of his power. We feel threatened by him, and I think he makes for a good villain. Also, while I'm at it, I gotta mention Scott Atkins, him wearing the fat suit and doing martial arts and doing these fight choreography scenes with Keanu Reeves was crazy. I'm a fan of his. I like the Boyka films and Undisputed and whatnot. So it was actually pretty cool to watch him do this and just the physicality of it was crazy. And also, I forgot to mention that not only is it, you know, impressive, but it's also pretty hilarious to see him <laughs> be in character of this. I think the character is called Killer, but to see him play this character and, uh, it, you know, you can tell he was really into it and it, it fits. It works. So, of course, you guys know that I can't name all of these villains and talk about all of them and then not talk about the legendary Donnie Yen. So, of course, him being a part of this film is a is a big, huge, like exciting addition because not only does does his character feel like uh, equal to John but his fighting style is something that we've never seen before he's blind so he's got sort of like this daredevil thing going on but I think even his character could whip daredevil's ass like like this guy is is a serious equal and a serious threat to the film and he's very entertaining to watch also John with chapter 4 has these long drawn out like fighting scenes. I think we were sort of getting into that before, like in chapter two and, and, and definitely chapter three. But chapter four is more John Wick. If you're a true John Wick fan, you're going to be very happy about what you're going to see here because some of these scenes are so drawn out and chaotic, like, and, and it's just nonstop action. Like, you know, I, I know it wasn't done in one take, but to watch it and, and just see the nonstop action, it almost feels like it. And even with these crazy long scenes, uh, you know, the movie doesn't feel like three hours. It, it really doesn't. It feels more like maybe two-ish, you know, something like that. But it, it doesn't feel like it's, it's overstaying its welcome, at least not to me. And also, this is something that you guys may have heard already or read in other reviews, but there's a scene, there, there's a shot in the movie where it's like top down and it really feels like a video game, something like Hotline Miami or even the John Wick video game which I don't think probably many people played, but more so Hotline Miami. It's a top-down view showing John just go through like tons of enemies and it's pretty crazy. He has this like incendiary shotgun. I'm not gonna go too much into detail, but just the, the top-down view and the way that they transition into it it's pretty dope, guys. And honestly, I don't think that's something I've really ever seen before. I mean, of course, there's been other top-down shots like this in action films, but the way they transition into it and out of it, and I think they do this like at least two times, I believe, the way they just transition into it and the shots that they have and the type of weaponry that's being used is really cool. Like, it literally feels like a video game. But overall, guys, I gotta say I enjoyed John Wick Chapter 4. Like, it was really good. Not that I wasn't expecting to, but it was really good. Um, and it, the, the ending was a big surprise. And, and also, all of these new characters that are being established are characters that you actually give a damn about. Like, when they show back up... Uh, later on in the film and stuff like that, even my audience, they were like, oh shit, like, you know, people were excited to see some of these characters because, you know, although they were established in a short amount of time, just the way that it was told and the way it was executed was done really well. Also, I'm not sure if people are aware of this already. It might be the word has probably already gotten around, but there is a post credit scene. So please stick around because like 90% of our audience left and they missed it. And it's probably a, a it, it's a pretty big deal honestly so you might definitely want to stick around to see what's going to happen but overall i think i'd give john wick chapter 4 a 10 out of 10 it's a 10 out of 10 guys it's a really good movie